Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In the previous videos, we have already seen how to install PostgreSQL database, how to configure it, how to create connections with the database. Now in this video, I will show you how to create a database using PG admin for PostgreSQL also using the command prompt. So let's start from the PG admin. When we want to create a database, first we need to go to the database and as we know there is one default database which is Postgres. Apart from this, we will create another database of for our use. Okay. So right click on database, then create option, then go to database. We need to provide the name of the database here. I can say database names like akram db and other options are optional we can provide or we can leave and regarding the parameters of the create database i'll come to that later but for now i'll create a default database with the default options for the comment i can write uh, like this is a demo database like this i can write and all other things whatever we have options we have lots of options and i'll go through it one by one in the next videos so please subscribe my channel to get the notifications of the video and uh, these are these options security options we can add securities we can add other things we can we, we have lots of parameters if i show you here see these are lo lots of parameters and we can configure it as per our requirement okay so now uh, we need to create the database okay it's saying that please select a parameter name because i had opened one parameter here so i don't need this parameter i can delete this so the error is removed now so now when i click on sql so when i give the name akram underscore db and this comment so at the back end this is the sql statement that is being executed okay so this is the statement create database akram db with owner this and comment on the database that i have added this is a demo database okay so now i just need to click on save so i can see uh, that akram db is created along with the postgres that is the default db and now i can expand this and as we know that in a database in postgres sql there is always one public schema which is the default schema we can create our new schema i'll show you these things in the next videos so uh, we have public schema here and let's create a table here So for that, let's uh, write a SQL query of create table say ID sorry table name test demo and ID I can say numeric column name I can say character varying with size 50 and I can also say it as not null. Okay, so now let's create it. The table is created we can verify the same with expanding this okay so now uh, as uh, as of now we have created a db named akram db and within that in its public schema we created one table called test demo so now let's go to psql tool using psql tool also we'll do this let's connect first if you don't know how to do it, I have already made the video on it, how to connect PostgreSQL using this PSQL tool. So username, I'll use the default username and password is root, I have entered. Okay, now create database called uh, test demo2 underscore db. Okay, this much is enough. I'm not adding any comments here. For that, we need to add the comment as well, comment statement. So when I enter, it should create the database. Let's check here. Now I need to refresh this. Okay, so here we have three databases now: test demo to db, akram db, and Postgres. Okay, so this is the way how we create databases in page, uh, in postgresql uh, for this i am using 16 postgresql 16 server i can show you select if i see version this is the postgresql 16 version 
so in this video i have shown you how to create databases in postgresql both in both the ways using pg admin and also psql tool which is the command prompt and in the next video i'll show you how to load a sample database that will also i'll do using uh, both the methods through we can use the pg admin tool also we can use the commands to load the uh, postgres uh, database so subscribe my channel to get the notifications and if this video was being helpful to you please like the video and leave a comment so let's meet in the next video till then take care bye bye